The amount of software in cars has been increasing for many years, uh, and it's, always, it's not always associated with uh, autonomous driving capability. So for example, there can be uh, automated systems for regulating fuel flow that, that aren't directly associated with driving the car. But it is certainly the case that as we get more advanced autonomous vehicle technologies, there is going to be more and more software, and inevitably that's going to create sometimes the need to do software upgrades. Sometimes those upgrades are going to be done over the air. And in fact, uh, Tesla has actually used over-the-air wireless upgrades to upgrade the software in some, in, for, their, for their cars. So that concept is it new. Anytime you have software and anytime you have software upgrades, there is certainly the issue of cyber, cyber security, which gets raised. Uh, and it will be very important for manufacturers of autonomous vehicle technology to really give a lot of attention to make sure that only the right people can get access to a car's systems when changing the software. Uh, but that said, the benefits are so strong for autonomous vehicle technology that it would be a mistake to assume that because we have these cybersecurity risks that we shouldn't even have autonomous vehicle technology. The better approach, of course, is to make sure that we put in the right procedures to, to ensure that the cybersecurity risks are addressed.